we want to find the linear velocity in meters per second for a particle that is moving in a circular path at six revolutions per second on a circle of radius eight meters. So now, how are we gonna do that? Well, remember there is a formula for linear velocity, which is V, so we've got V equals S over T. Now you have to remember that S is your arc length, so S actually equals alpha times R, so we could rewrite this as V equals alpha times R over T. So what do we already know in the, in the problem that we were given? Well, we says that it is six revolutions per second. So we've got that. Now I need to get that into what? Well, I need to find A, right? So that's alpha, so I can get that into pi or radians. So it's gonna be two pi per one revolution. So now that's going to give me uh, 12 pi over seconds, because remember your revolution and your revolution are going to cancel. Now, so far so good. So that's given me what? Well, I've done time, there was my seconds. I've got a, now I need to multiply by the radius. That's the only thing I haven't used. So I'm going to multiply that by 8 meters, and that's going to give me 96 pi meters per second. So if, if this is what your instructor wants, you stop here. Now you may need to actually provide an approximation. So when you actually do the multiplication, you're going to get 301.6 meters per second.